Yo, what's good? I'm Elijah Blake, and you're tuned in to Hot New Hip Hop, the best place to be right now. I want people to know that Shadows and Diamonds is like, that's, this is my truth. This is my, me being transparent. This is me saying it's all right to, for a guy to have emotions and, and feelings and, you know what I mean? I'm here to, and I want to be like every dude's homie and help you articulate them. You know what I mean? It's like, we, we feel just as much as any human being feels. It's just like sometimes I think guys don't necessarily know how to articulate them without feeling like they sound soft. And I'm like, you know, I'm just kind of like in that zone. I, I look at people people's music videos nowadays and like I remember in you know even though I caught on in the late 90s um people you was corny if you didn't dance now if you dance you're corny so I'm like man whatever I'm gonna dance like y'all got me all the way twisted you know what I mean I grew up on the Michaels and the Genuines and the Ushers so I just want people all you know Shadows and Diamonds to be a um a, something that people could use to encourage them to be fearless and just be in their truth. Like, you don't gotta be the most hood dude in the world. You don't gotta be the ignorant stereotype that they put musicians in or, you know, our culture in. And, and hit, they act like people in hip hop can't be intelligent. So I want Shadows and Diamonds to really represent the good, bad, and the ugly. Like, the, dark, the, the shadows are like the, you know, like I said, the stereotypes and the dark points and the, the lows and the diamonds are the, the beautiful sides of myself, my life, hip hop, music, and R&B and everything like that. So yeah. The original came about, um, I met this producer named Jimba Jimba through Diplo from, and, you know, I did um, Climax with Diplo and Usher. So Jimba was like his engineer at the time, actually. And then, um, you know, I was singing, I was going by and cutting ideas. And Jimba was like, yo, I kind of got some tracks if you, want, if you don't mind me playing them for you. And I was like, yo, word. And, you know, he kind of was reluctant to. I'm like, yo, if they hot, I don't care if Jimmy from down the street produced it. You know what I mean? I'm not one of them, like, name dudes. So he played them for me, and um, I just thought he was dope. So he, we would always trade tracks back and forth. And one day, um, I was talking to Jay Brown at Rock Nation, and he was like, look, like, you got the album. Like, we just need you to give us that song. We just, we just need that single. He's like, go in the studio for one week and get that single. So um, I told, I was like, all right. But after that, if we don't get the single, then you just got to pick something from the album. You know what I mean? So I went into the studio, and uh, Jimba came by and dropped off the track him and this producer named CZ did. And I just, I went in the booth and I heard the, I just wanna get, you know what I mean? And we were messing with that. Me and some of my um, collaborators that I collab with and um, No ID came in the next day and he was like, yo, this is a hit. And you don't never hear him say that. Like the words hit from his mouth don't even, they don't even sound right coming from his mouth because he doesn't, he's like the anti, um, formula guy like he's like just do music that feels good so he came by he's like this is a hit I'm like where are you we ain't even got no drums on or nothing he's like I know a hit when I hear it so that's how the original came about and I finished it and then when it was time for us to really make it the single and add another perspective over, um, on it you know what I mean um, I submitted two names it was Travis Scott and Dej Love so Travis was um you know and I know our teams were going back and forth making it happen and then he was in the studio he started on it um, but at the time we needed to go to radio and then Day sent her verse back. And man, I remember waking up and my um, manager was like, yo, check your email. And I was like, wow, like what? Like she kind of spazzed, you know what I mean? I didn't, I'm, people are so used to hearing the try me, you know, the little, she, I'm like, yo, but she actually really like put a female perspective on it and kind of like made it a little more edgy, you know what I mean? So props to her for that. So that's how that came about. No, Days is the only feature, because if, if, if you listen to the, um, my first mixtape, which was BG22, and then my last EP, um, Drift, like I only have one feature on each. Like It was Common on the first one and J. Cole on the last one. And um, I was actually planning on no features for this album, but Days killed it so much. And I'm like, I no ID's like my big brother, my mentor, my father. Um, you know, I, it, just, it was amazing seeing how fearless he was you know, because there was some really respectable and respected producers on the project, you know, like Salam Remy and Elangelo and um, Happy Perez. And, you know, we, I even went in with Pharrell, even though the song didn't really make the project, but we went in. And No ID had no problem, like, you know, because he, he be on his Quincy Jones shit. It's very, he's, he's like, yo, like, we trying to make the best album possible. Put my ego aside. I know what I've done. I know I'm no ID, but that doesn't matter right now. Can you change this snare to match this overall sound of the album? Or, hey, can you change this drum or this, this kick drum? Or can you take out this bell 
and like s s minor stuff that you kind of be like, is it really that serious? But it's it really is serious in the grand scheme of things. You see, at the time, like Ye was working on his album, and um, you know, Janae was working on her album, and um, Big Sean, like you know, it's kind of like damn, like those are full time jobs. So to see how involved he was with my project and. You, you, once you think he's missing something, nah, like I remember with the album packaging, he didn't like a color, you know what I mean? But it, so much going on with the single out and I'm like, oh yeah, he's gonna miss it because there's so much going on. Man, I got a call one time at like six in the morning, like, who picked this color? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I didn't even know he was copied on the emails, you know what I mean? But he sees everything, even when he doesn't say nothing. I think that that's amazing because a and R's don't do that no more. I think No ID is one of the last Samurais and one of the last Mohicans. Like, he really comes from the school of Quincy. And I always say this, I, I didn't get a chance to, you know, Quincy's way before my time. So that, he's the closest thing I feel like I'll ever have for that. And him executive producing my album, I was able to see like, okay, I see how somebody like you, it took somebody like you to stand behind Ye for Ye to be who he was. And I see why it took somebody like you to really be behind somebody like Common or you know how that came together so it's a blessing. I have been able to you know still have my deal and put out records for myself and write for like Justin Bieber and those people because I write in their truth and all my songs are personal to me so you know I've seen things online where people are like oh man Elijah Blake could have blew up so long ago if he would have just kept Climax for himself and it's like that's not something I could have kept for myself because it was a joint effort. I flew to New York to work with Diplo, to work with Usher, and to work with Mark Pitts and those guys. So it's not like I could have walked up in there up in his session and took in the song and leaving. You know, I came there to do my job and I did the job and the song, you know, changed my life. And it was one of, you know, to, to see somebody like Paul McCartney say it was one of the songs that inspired him to do music again. That's all I need. You know what I mean? So I do write for people here and there, but how I was in the beginning where I'm just like session to session to session to session and taking away time for myself, I don't necessarily do no more. I'd rather give myself that record. Already, hey, already, already know I just wanna get up already, hey, already, already know I just wanna get dunk a dunk my life ain't been the same, I'm on the run When this kid said fuck a message, we just wanna have fun Now I move to the beat, that confused me for weeks While y'all hands high, my head high like hold on nigga you lost me Then I looked at my YouTube views and I got salty Cause I realized my real shit don't get that much love I see exactly how y'all do y'all favorite rappers Favorite musicians, athletes, actress, actors Spreading anything without it being